How can I help you today? Hi, can you tell me about the opening hours? I'd be happy to help you with information about opening hours. Let me search our documentation for that information. Based on our documentation, here are the opening hours for Smilebright Dental Clinic. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m., 6 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m., 3 p.m., Sunday, closed. Emergency services available via the emergency line. We also offer flexible scheduling, including early morning and evening appointments on uh, select days. Please call us at 555-12-34567 to confirm availability for these special appointment times. Can you tell me if I can eat after teeth cleaning? Let me check our doc. Great question. Yes, you can eat after a cleaning, but there are specific guidelines to follow. You should avoid eating or drinking for 30 minutes if fluoride was applied during your cleaning. After the 30 minute wait period, you can resume normal eating. Continue to maintain your regular brushing and flossing routine. Um, is there anything else you'd like to know about post-cleaning care? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this RAG AI voice agent and can ask for to your knowledge base, or if you have a very long documentation, it can get the data very fast. So let's say if you have a 50, 100 pages long documentation or a very long knowledge base, you can use this AI agent to quickly retrieve the data for your customers. And as you could hear, I build this for a dental clinic but you can use it for any kind of businesses. For example, if you have a real estate business, you can upload information about your listings. Or if you have a SaaS company, you can include your documentation. By the way, this voice agent is exactly the one that you can find in WebPiece documentation. So if you come to WebPiece documentation and you go to the bottom right corner, you will see that they have an AI voice agent, which functions as a support voice agent for their documentation. You can ask questions about their product and it searches the whole documentation and gets the appropriate information for you. So this is exactly what we are going to build. I think it's very useful if you want to include a voice agent on your website and this makes it easy for your customers to browse in your website. They don't have to manually search for the data. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is come to cloud.llamaindex.ai and this is where we will keep our documentation. And the first thing we need to do here is create a new index. So I'm going to click on create and you can give a name to your index. I'm going to keep it as it is and you will see a box where you can upload your files. So I'm going to get my dental clinic documentation and just drag it. And let's scroll down a little bit. For the embedding model, we need to select create a new OpenAI embedding. And here we need to provide our OpenAI API key. And the way to get that is go to platform.openai.com. And here, let's go to your profile and let's go to API keys. And here we need to create a new secret key. So I'm going to call it documentation and let's select the project and I'm going to create a key. Let's copy it and let's paste it here. And let's also select an embedding model. I'm going to select small. And once you have that, you can click on save. And once you connected your OpenAI account, let's go down all the way and for the chunking mode let's select token for the chunk size let's add 512 and for the chunk overlap let's provide 50 and now we can deploy the index you can see that it's uploading the file and it's created some credentials for us i'm going to keep it open and the next thing we have to do is go to webp and we are going to create an assistant which will function as a customer support assistant or knowledge base assistant. You can call it whatever you like. And once you opened it, let's click on create assistant. I'm going to call it RAG and I'm just going to click on create assistant. And the first thing I'm going to do here is go to tools and let's create a new tool. Let's select API request. And we are going to use this tool to fetch information from your knowledge base. I'm going to call it documentation. And to the description, let's provide this tool's purpose is to search through the documentation to provide relevant information. And let's scroll down a little bit. 
and we need to fill the request URL and you can get that from Llama Cloud. So I'm just going to copy the endpoint URL. You will see it here. And let's switch the request HTTP method to post. Then once you have that, we need to authenticate the request. So let's add a header and let's provide authorization. And we need to get our token. So let's go back to Llama Cloud and let's go to API keys. And here we need to generate a new key. So I'm going to call it documentation. Then we can click on create secret key. Let's copy this. And here I'm going to say bearer space and paste in the key. Once we have that, let's scroll down a little bit and we need to fill in the request body. We need to create a query property. So let's say query. You can keep the value empty. And for the description, let's say the user's question. And I'm going to click on required. So it won't trigger this tool until we have the query. And then we can click on apply. Then click on save. And now we have the tool. So let's go to the assistant and let's provide a first message, which will say, hi, my name is Harry, a customer support agent. How can I help you? And for the system prompt, let's provide your task is to get information from the knowledge base using the documentation tool. This is a very basic prompt. You can enhance it a little bit. And actually I'm going to click on generate. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, I'm going to accept this and let's go to tools. And here we need to select our documentation tool. Then we can click on publish. And now we connected Vepi with the documentation. So I'm going to call it. Hi, my name is Harry, a customer support agent. How can I help you? Hi, can you tell me about your opening hours? Our office hours are as follows. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m., 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m., 3 p.m. Sunday, closed. Emergency services available via the emergency line. We also offer flexible scheduling, including early morning. And you can see it provided the information correctly. So this is a super nice setup to implement RAG in your voice agent. I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I will try to answer to anyone if you need any help. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next one.